2023학년도 대학 수학능력시험 EBS 모의평가 영어 영역 제3회 1번부터 17번까지는 듣고 답하는 문제입니다. 1번부터 15번까지는 한 번만 들려주고 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning. Thanks for coming to the Bluestone Basketball League pre-season meeting. I'm the league manager, Brian Peterson. First, here's an important announcement. The order of the basketball games this season is changing. In the past, girls always played their games before the boys. This year, the boys will play first, followed by the girls. This order will be followed throughout the entire season. It'll rotate from season to season, not week by week. Please understand that we decided to change the order this way because changing the order during the season would cause confusion. Please let me know later if you have any questions about this. Now, let's move on to the next issue. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Thomas, what are you doing in the refrigerator? I'm looking for something to eat, Mom. It's past 11. Why don't you go to bed? I tried, but I'm too hungry to fall asleep. Okay. What are you going to eat? Hmm. How about some tomatoes? Actually, you shouldn't eat tomatoes before going to bed. Why? They're a superfood. They're healthy and low-fat. That's true, but eating tomatoes can have a negative impact on your sleep. Really? I didn't know that. It's because tomatoes have tyramine, an amino acid that increases the activity of your brain and makes it harder to fall asleep. I see. I'll just drink a cup of warm milk then. Good idea. 3번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, Sandy. Oh, hi, Kevin. You're here alone today. You normally come with your sister. She's camping with her friends today. I see. Do you have any books to return? Yeah, here they are. And I'd like to ask you about the special summer event posted on the bulletin board. You mean conversations with authors? Right. So if I sign up for it, I can only have a conversation with one author, right? I'm afraid so, because so many people are signing up for it. Okay. Where can I find information about the authors? On the library website. If you have any problems, just let me know. All right. I'll look later. I'd like to check out a novel today. Do you have any good new books? Sure. Right over here. I'll show you. Thanks. 4번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. William, look at this picture. I renovated my attic. Wow, you converted it into a bedroom. It looks so cozy. Yeah, I love sitting in this hanging chair. Seeing that there's a book on it, you must read there. Yeah, and I wanted to freshen up the room. So I put these two plants on the floor. Nice. You could even hang some plants from the ceiling later. Good idea. I'll think about that. I love having the head of the bed under the window. I can feel the sun hit my body. You wouldn't be able to feel that if the bed was on the other side. Right. Do you like the star-shaped wall clock next to the window? Yeah, it's cool. 
The lamp on the table beside the bed is nice, too. It was a gift from my parents. Seeing your remodeling makes me want to remodel my room. You should do it. Mom, I think there's something wrong with my laptop. Your new laptop? Yes, I think it's defective. Why? Is it not working? You've only had it a week. It works, but the screen shakes. Really? Can I see it? Watch this video. When I was taking an online lecture earlier, the screen started shaking. I recorded it. It seems quite serious. Why don't you take it to where we bought it tomorrow? I'd like to, but I'm going on my three-day trip to Coral Island with my friends tomorrow afternoon. Oh, that's right. Then I can do it for you. Thanks, but I'll just do it after my trip. Do you still have the salesperson's business card? I threw it away, but I saved his number on my phone. I'll text it to you. Okay. I'll contact him before I leave for Coral Island. Honey, what are you doing online? I'm looking at the Blue Rose Bed and Bath online shop. We need to get some new bathroom towels. Right. Our towels are old. Do they have any good deals? Yes. These hand towels are $5 each. But if we buy a set of 10, we'll get 20% off the total price. Let's buy one set then. Don't we need bigger towels too? Yeah. We also need a large and medium ones. Look, these large towels look nice, and they're only $10 each. Perfect. Let's buy five of them. For medium towels, how about these? They're $8 each. They look good. Shall we buy five of them, too? Well, we use this size a lot, so let's buy ten. Okay. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. I'll order and pay now. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Are you home now? No, I'm about to leave work. I had to stay late for a bit. How about you? I got off work, but I'll be home a little late. I have to stop by the police station. Police station? Why? Did you witness a traffic accident? No. Do you remember I lost my driver's license? Yeah. Are you going to the police station to get it reissued? No. I already did it online. I got a call today to pick it up. Oh. You chose to pick it up at the police station? Yeah. It's closer to our house than the nearest driver's license examination office. For sure. Then I'll start making dinner when I get home. That'll be great. Thanks. I'll buy a carrot cake for dessert on my way home. Sounds good. See you soon. Honey, the bedside lamp won't turn on. It shouldn't be the bulb because I just put a new one in the other day. It must be broken. We should buy a new one then. Let's first take it to the Long Seton Repair Cafe to see if they can fix it. What's a repair cafe? A place that fixes small electrical items such as toasters, hair dryers, and lamps with the help of volunteers. 
Sometimes they fix other items like clothing and bikes. It sounds like the repairs are quite cheap. Actually, they're free, but we can donate. Cool. Where is the cafe? I'm not sure. I know it's in the east side of town. I'll check their website. Here. It's at the Long Seton Volunteer Center. I see. When are they open? On the third Saturday of the month from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., so we can go there next Saturday. Okay. Let's go then. Coupon. 드림 포에트리엔 라이팅 콘테스트에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하는 것을 고르시오. Do you like writing poems and short stories? Then enter the Dream Poetry and Writing Contest. It's an international writing competition open to anyone 18 and over who enjoys the beautiful literary art of poetry or short stories, or both. We're now accepting poems. 30 lines or fewer, on any topic and in any style or form. We're also accepting short stories, five pages maximum length, on any theme, fiction, nonfiction, or creative nonfiction. Participants can submit multiple poems and short stories. All entries must be either typed or legibly handwritten. They may be submitted online or via postal mail. Entry fees are $5 per poem and $10 per story, and the submission deadline is March 31st. Visit www.dreamcontest.org for more details. Shippon. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고. 여자가 주문할 무선 초소형 이어폰을 고르시오. Tony, can you help me for a minute? Sure. What's up? I want to order wireless earbuds from this online store, but I don't know which of these five models to choose. Let's see. Um, I don't recommend the cheapest model. At that price, they're probably really poor quality. That makes sense. I'll buy one of the other models then. How about playtime? Well, the longer the better. I think you need at least six hours. Then that leaves out this one. What color do you like? I like all of them, but I had white ones, so I'd like a different color. Then it's down to these two options. I'll go with the one with a higher customer rating. Good idea. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Julia, you said you wanted to run for president of the student council this year, right? Have you registered as a candidate? Not yet, Dad. I'm still getting the required recommendations from students and teachers. I see. Can you get them before the deadline? 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oh, David, what is that list of books you're looking at? Hey, Mom. It's a list of recommended books for my English class. I need to choose one and read it this semester. Great. So have you decided which book to read? 13번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Grandma, I'm here. Oh, hi, Jason. What a nice surprise that you stopped over. 
I'm on my way back from the nursing home, so I thought I would stop by. Oh, did you volunteer there today? Actually, I went there thinking I was supposed to volunteer, but they didn't need me. Why is that? Because they had a full staff today. I see. So you're free today. Yes. So I stopped by to help you and Grandpa. I heard you were going to paint the fence today. That's very sweet of you. But it'll take some time and be quite tough for you. Don't worry. I can do it. I'd love to have some of your delicious cookies later, though. Honey, what's that noise? I think it's someone downstairs remodeling their place. They've been working on it since last week. Oh, I didn't know that. It's been pretty noisy. You didn't know because they've been working on it while you've been at work during the week. It's Saturday morning. Aren't residents only allowed to work on remodeling during the week? That's right. Should we contact the management office to let them know? It's so noisy that I can't concentrate on reading. I think they gave us a remodeling notice letter. Let me look for it. Here it is. Does it say anything about them working today? No, there's nothing about it. We'd better just ask. 5번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 민호가 헨리에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Henry is a college student and he goes to Seoul to visit his aunt during the winter vacation. While in Seoul, he ends up making a friend at a cafe. The friend's name is Minho. Minho studies geography at a Korean university. They hang out a couple times and really get along. Henry suggests that they go on a trip together, and Minho says yes. Minho asks Henry where he wants to visit, and Henry suggests going somewhere warmer than Seoul. Minho thinks Jeju Island would be the perfect place, and wants to recommend it to Henry. In this situation, what would Minho most likely say to Henry? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, listeners. I'm Paul Smithers from Food and Life. If you think it's always good to wash foods, think again. Sometimes it is better to avoid this step. Some will be more harmful when washed in the sink. Others will lose their flavor by passing them under water. First of all, washing chicken can actually increase your risk of food poisoning. By washing raw chicken in the sink, you risk spreading harmful bacteria to other surfaces. The only way to truly kill bacteria on raw chicken is to cook it. You should never wash raw fish in your sink either. By washing it in the sink, you're actually spreading harmful bacteria to nearby surfaces. Pasta is delicious, but it should never be rinsed. Rinsing your pasta after cooking it only rinses the starch off of it, making it more difficult for sauces to stick to. Finally, washing mushrooms can seriously harm their flavor. When rinsed, mushrooms soak up large amounts of water, making them soggy and unappetizing. If your mushrooms are a bit dirty, wipe them with a dry paper towel. Eat well and stay well. Hello, listeners. I'm Paul Smithers from Food and Life. If you think it's always good to wash foods, think again. Sometimes it is better to avoid this step. Some will be more harmful when washed in the sink. Others will lose their flavor by passing them under water. First of all, 
washing chicken can actually increase your risk of food poisoning. By washing raw chicken in the sink, you risk spreading harmful bacteria to other surfaces. The only way to truly kill bacteria on raw chicken is to cook it. You should never wash raw fish in your sink either. By washing it in the sink, you're actually spreading harmful bacteria to nearby surfaces. Pasta is delicious, but it should never be rinsed. Rinsing your pasta after cooking it only rinses the starch off of it, making it more difficult for sauces to stick to. Finally, washing mushrooms can seriously harm their flavor. When rinsed, mushrooms soak up large amounts of water, making them soggy and unappetizing. If your mushrooms are a bit dirty, wipe them with a dry paper towel. Eat well and stay well. 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 17번. 언급된 식품이 아닌 것은? 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다.